guys, so today I'm doing that big haul that I've been teasing you guys about. Oh, God, okay. Um, Sedona Lays, Benjabel, um, crap load of Amazon, drugstore, just, it's just all over the place. I ordered from Ulta, I got some like sculpting stuff, I got some brushes, an airbrush machine, and I'm gonna have a part two for clothing, feeding, fe featuring Kohl's, Target, and She Inside, and I think maybe some other things. Um, yeah, it's a little bit crazy, so we're just gonna jump into it. I'm gonna start off with um, Walgreens. I'm literally gonna go through all of this super, super fast. Got the Maybelline Dream Touch um, Lumi and Ivory. Um, it just looks like this. Then I picked up a bunch of the Wet n Wild Matte Lipsticks because I wanted to try um, some of them. Got Think Pink. I got Spotlight Red. And I also got Just Peach. You can see that. They're, these two are pretty similar colors, but the red is super pretty. Got a Maybelline Baby Lip. Got L'Oreal True Match Foundation because I wanted to try this for a while. There's a hair on it. Living with two long hair, dark hair girls is not fun. Um, and I got mine in W3. I think it's a pretty good match. I haven't tried it yet. Then I wanted to get more um, eyeshadow because I need more, right? Um, I got Walking on Eggshells and Cool as a Cucumber. They just look like that. I really like them and I'm excited to use these. I got this one which is Silent Treatment. And while I was in the hospital, Kelly Baker Brow, I will link her down below. She sent me a few like goodies, like a care package to my sister, my mom, and myself. So I will show you all the stuff that she sent me, which I really have been loving, actually. Her Kelly Baker Brow spoolie, and it's a double-ended brush, so it has an angled brush and a spoolie on one side. And then I got the flat brush where you can um, kind of rub in your highlight color. And then this is the highlight type thing that I got that I've really been wanting um actually something like it and she just kind of came along and was like yo you want to try it and I was like sure bro and so that's just what it looks like she's actually going to be flying down to Orlando soon to do my brows and I'm really excited um and then her tweezers which are so freaking adorable because they have like a little rhinestone on them and they're actually really nice tweezers and as well as her universal brow powder which is in dark brown which i really like this it's a little too chalky and like flaky for me sometimes but it is really super nice so yeah i'm just gonna like do an array of just crap that i got i got two brush guards from amazing Zun. um i believe they were like two dollars each maybe a little bit more i don't really know i just was in need a brush guard because I'm like slowly losing them um, so I got two packs also bought NARS Albatross highlighter um, I think that's how you say it on Amazon and it was it was pretty expensive um, it was a little bit cheaper than Sephora um, I don't really care if it's not the real one because if it isn't it's still beautiful and I still would wear it um, but I, I'm hoping it's the right one I got an iPhone 5 car charger. I really hope it works. It looks pretty cheap. But if you guys know of a good iPhone car charger that I can buy, leave me a link down below. I got a spatula because I'm going to start doing, hopefully, prosthetics. How do you say that? Plasthetics? Plasthetics. Plasthetics. I'm going to hopefully start doing those for like Halloween and stuff. Um, I'm gonna try so I got one of these I got these gloves They were like two dollars and what they are they're exfoliating gloves for the shower or the bath or whatever I used them this morning. I got two pairs just because I thought like I'd be using them a lot. So um, They're really awesome. They really really exfoliate. I got the Clarisonic plus and it was like I think 200 to 300 dollars and I hate it. it does, I like really love really deep exfoliation on my body, especially before I tan. Um, and it just, it felt like nothing. Like I was like, what the heck? I just spent like 200 extra dollars to get something that I don't like. So I'm gonna return that and just get the like regular one with the one speed for my face because that's all I really want. But anyway, I got these, they're really awesome. Um, and they just have like sparkles on them. They kind of feel like that um, weird material. I don't know. Got some spirit gum and spirit gum remover. 
also for Halloween. I bought like five shadow shields and then literally two days later they contacted me and they're like, oh my gosh, we wanna send you some shadow shields. And I was like, great, I just ordered like five of them off of Amazon. Thank you very much. And I actually have a whole box. There's more where that came from. Also, I decided to order three Z palettes. I just gave one to Tammy. Um, they're the extra large ones. I just got them in black because I didn't realize literally 20 minutes later they'd be emailing me being like, hey Talia, you want to like have some Z palettes? It was literally not my day. Uh, just a, a, like these two and then they sent me this one. Okay. <laughs> they sent me all of these. So I also want to start like doing male makeup, like drag makeup. Um, I'm going to start because I'm really a fan of doing the just like really, really, really intense highlighting and contouring. Um, for me, this, like this contour is not that intense, but it's pretty intense. Um, I could do more. This is actually NARS Casino. So because I want to start doing drag makeup and all that stuff, I decided to get a concealer wheel from Krylon. And this is the concealer wheel for ch featuring Dermacolor. Um, and it just looks like that. I dug my finger in it and it's very, 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 very waxy. Um, I don't know if that's just because of the first layer, but it's just a little bit thick. I really wasn't expecting it to be like that, but um, hopefully I can still work with it. Um, that's the dark color, and then it has like a super, super pale color. Also for when I do like other people's makeup for prom and stuff, prom season is like now, and um, I've had a lot of people asking me to do their makeup, so I've done two so far, and <laughs> I made a little bit of can. Also got more tools for sculpting and stuff like that. They're just any shape you could ever imagine is in here for sculpting and eyelash applying and just crap doing. I kind of went bananas with brushes and stuff, but um, I got a few beauty blenders. I got two white ones and two pink ones, but I used my pink one. And I think I got two black ones, but I don't know where they went. So... Oh well, and before we get into the brushes, I want to show you my Makeup Geek Eye Shadows that I have. I have a few duplicates because I've had them before and I asked for like, we were like talking back and forth and then there was a few that I saw that I wanted. I want all the eyeshadows um, eventually, but um, yeah, there's a few that I asked for twice, but I didn't realize I already had. So these are most of them. This is like you ready for this? That's the most pigmented black there is in the history of blacks. Do you see that? I just wiped it on the carpet. <laughs> that was really bad. Um, but that's like the best black in the world. These are obviously duplicates right there. Um, and then I don't. And then these are duplicates right here. But I really love those colors. It's kind of like satin taupe by Mac. Um, but that's my neutral palette, and this is the um, Makeup Geek. Z palette. I really love it. Um, it's really pretty. Makeup Geek. Um, also, these two are obviously duplicates. These two, two. Yeah, I think these are both Unicorn. Yeah, Unicorn's one of my favorite purples, like ever. ever. You have Razzle, Razzleberry, um, Simply Marlene. I think this one is it. Yeah, Simply Mar Marlene is one of my favorites. Um, I used them this morning for this look. Um, and then this one is like my all-time favorite. It's kind of like a Mac, Mac Electric Eel, Electric Eel, but a little bit more pigmented. And it's called Neptune, and I really love that one. It's just like a mermaid version. I th anything, anytime I think of mermaid, I think of Megan Rosette because I just freaking love her. Now on to all the freaking brushes I got. I got the Real Techniques Foundation Brush. I got two of the Core Collection, I believe it's called. Um, and one is for someone else, but then I got the travel essentials mostly for another one of these, but I also thought for like a little bit more, I could get two other brushes. So I was just like, why not? And then the last one I got were all of these eyeshadow brushes from Real Technique. Just kidding. I've got another setting brush because it's like one of my favorite brushes. I use it for under my eyes, contouring. Um, I use it for everything. 
Then I got a few of the Makeup Geek brushes, which are freaking awesome. I love them. So as you can kind of see here, I got like the biggest to the smallest. Um, and they're all Makeup Geek. And they don't have a label on them, but they're all Makeup Geek. <laughs> and um, this, they're all just really super soft. This one's the most dense. And um, this one's also really short. So, yeah. And... Then I got this one. It's just like a stiffer version of the 217 and also a little bit skinnier. I got the like domed blush brush um, as well from Makeup Geek and it's a reasonable size. Probably going to use it more for bronzer um, or like face powder or something like that than blush. I got some Eco Tool brushes. This is the tapered blush brush. Um, I got these from Amazon. Six piece essential eye kit a plain eyeshadow brush because I wanted to try more of the Eco Tool brushes because I have a few and I really enjoy them. And then me and um, Missy, what's her name on Instagram? Pink Sparkles, Missy Pink Sparkles or something. I don't even know her Instagram, but she's coming to visit me tomorrow. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm going to do tons of videos with her. With her. Don't worry, but she was talking about the belly, bellium, bellium, bellium. I don't know, um, brushes, and these looked exactly like the MAC 217, so I decided to get two of them because they look so freaking cute. Um, <laughs> I didn't mean cute, I meant like good because with <laughs> Tammy was holding up a t-shirt and I, I, I just looked at it and I was about to say it's cute, but instead I said these were cute. These are not cute, they're, they're, they're gorgeous. This is from Jack Vanek, by the way, it'll be in my clothing haul. They are the 776 blending brush. I will tell you guys how I like them. And I'm also going to do the like um, a dupes for MAC 217 brushes because I have so many of them um, that are just freaking awesome. I'm sorry. And then the other one I got is kind of, I guess, supposed to, be, supposed to be like the 224. And it's the 785 tapered blending brush. Then I asked Sigma to send me the performance kit because I really super wanted it. And then they surprised me with another kit that I'll show you. But I've just really been dying to get this kit. And I'm not a fully I'm not an affoliant with Sigma. So I don't have those like links that everyone else has in their description. Hopefully one day I will be because I do enjoy their brushes. I think I don't think they're anything special, but I, I enjoy their brushes just like any other brand. And I will be having my own thoughts on that mitt that everyone's talking about. If you, if you guys really want it, if you guys don't want it, just be like Tally to shut up. No one else wants to hear about it. Just let me know and I won't do a video about it because I know it's it's pretty controversial. Cren pretty controversial. Con controversial. 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 But these are all just like all the eyeshadow brushes in smaller forms to get like really precise and stuff like that like a mini 217 and all that stuff and they're just they're just little brushes they also surprised me with the travel size of the mrs bunny collection and this is just what it comes with it's a travel size like i just mentioned and i have like touched these and kind of i didn't use them yet but i kind of like play with them a bit um it comes with a foundation brush a fluffy brush um a shadow brush a like like little crud domed brush angled brush powder brush and an bigger angle brush um but i like them i just think they're a bit too soft for me almost i'm still gonna use them when i travel and stuff and they're really awesome brushes just for me they're a little too soft and i think i'm probably gonna find a way to use them because i brushes are like my everything um but yeah so if you guys have any suggestions on how to use this let me know Okay, so I also contacted Sedona Lace because we wanted to do more work together. And they were like, what brushes do you want? So I picked out one um, individual brush and then a set. And I've been eyeing this brush forever. I almost bought it. And then they were like, hey, Dal, you want to do some more stuff? And I was like, yeah, bro. So this is the Sedona Lace 919. And it's just like a paddle brush. It's so small and cute. And um, I just want this for like maybe contouring or whatever the heck I'll find it for. Um... I'll use it for. All right, and these are supposed to be just like the Stigmax line. And um, Shane XO actually came out with her own brushes, and I actually have them. I've been using them like crazy, but I just can't find the time to film about them. But I'm probably going to do like 
which one you should buy or something because I do have some thoughts on the Sigma one um, which I bought myself the Sigmax line I bought that myself but I actually haven't touched these yet so this is going to be I hate these things I hate these brush guard things I just tear them open because they bother me so much um, but they're basically just like the Sigmax line like I repeated um they have a round top, a flat top, and a angle top. I think they have one more just like Sigma, but I don't have it. And then they have a Kabuki, which I was honestly, I'm nervous about the Kabuki because, wait, I haven't even touched it yet. But it looks so, like, stiff. So, oh, it could work. Yeah, it's probably, because, like, when other people use it, it looks so stiff that you would be like, but it, it really is fluffy and it's going to be easy to work with, I think. If you guys want like a face thing to do with this, um, let me know. I, I'm honest. Very honest. So this company um, is like supposed to be like Beauty Blender dupes. And it's Glam Princess XOXO. And it's Shop Glam Princess got two black like beauty blender type things and then I got two pink ones because I've been really liking the black ones because they don't show up as much I got two of the pink ones um so yeah I'm gonna see how I like them I bought so many beauty blenders that I don't know if I I, I want to try them but what? from Amazon I also got the NYX blush and taupe because Nikki Tutorial is always using this and she contours like an angel and then from Amazon I got these they're like the brow thing and it was four dollars for four packs and each one comes three so I gave one to Tammy I'm gonna give one to my mom and give one to my sister and um then I'm gonna have one for me so I wanted this and um, maybe I'll look like her one day I doubt it but it's a taupe color and they don't sell it at my Ulta I think they're discontinuing it um, or maybe reformulating it, but I can't find it anyway, so I looked on Amazon, and it was $7, and I didn't really like the fact that it was $7, but I bought it. And then here is my Ulta order I did. Um, I just got a few things, I guess you could say. So, um, I bought a bunch of NYX stuff, um, because I really wanted to update my collection, and I bought a bunch of the Maybelline Vivids, because I didn't get my hands on those. Um, and I was in the hospital forever, and I was just, you know what, I was like, You know what? Everyone else has them, and I don't have them. I don't want them. The thing I did is I got more eyeshadows because I need so much eyeshadow. It is the Natural Palette by NYX. Um, I just opened it, so I'm going to swatch it for the first time. So there are the swatches. That's the dark color, obviously. The this is actually that color, and then the champagne color at the end that way. <laughs> Things I got from NYX was the eyebrow shaper, and this was before Kelly decided to send me a care package. So I had this one too, which is fine. Um, this one looks really weird. Clear. I got two eyeshadows. I don't own any NYX eyeshadows, so I decided to get two. I got the bright yellow, which is mellow yellow, and then I also decided to get white because I don't feel like I have any matte white eyeshadow. And then I've heard raves and rants about this one. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil, and it's basically a concealer. It's a highlighter. You can fix around your lips. You can cover up freckles. You can do it underneath your brow bone. You can use it in your waterline. Whatever you want to do with this pencil, it supposedly works wonders. And it's still wrapped up and everything. So if you guys want a review, what are you going to do? You're going to let me know. And then these are the nine um, Maybelline Vivids lipsticks that I got. Um, I'm missing one and I'm determined to find it. But here they all are, the ones that I got. Um, I'm really excited to use them and I can't wait. So yeah. I got some of these um, brush trees. You can 
actually like put your brush up in it to dry. Um, I wanted the Sigma shape and dry, but it was too expensive and I didn't really feel like asking them for it and I just didn't want to buy it. So um, I got these instead and you put your brush in it and then it hangs down while it's drying. And here's the ones for the face brush and here's the one for the eyeshadow brushes and like smaller brushes, eyeliner, whatever you, th whatever you want to put in it. Um, I have these in a few colors and I'm really excited to start using them. Actually, I have used them, but I haven't used them like enough. But, I mean, the concept is pretty easy. My nurse, Usha, knows how much I have a love for perfume. And she got me the Britney Spears Circus Fantasy Perfume. I believe she got it from Amazon. And it's, I believe, also discontinued because I couldn't find it anywhere and then I was just like Usha look at this perfume and she was like oh my gosh I'll get that for you and I was like huh I'm not saying no um so she got me the big bottle and it's just I think it smells really good I always close my eyes because I'm afraid I'm going to get it in my eyes I like it it's 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 a more mature stain I decided I needed another airbrush machine so I got this one and it is from Belletto Studios and they also sent me um, a, like a pack of um, airbrush stuff and I got one for my sister and my mom and myself. So I'm going to let you guys know how it goes because I have a dying air system. I freaking love it. Um, yeah. Okay so because I was in the hospital for so long I was in there for about over a month. My mom's friend Joe felt really bad. And um, she was like, give me a wish list that you want from Sephora. So I was like, okay. Um, and she got me the Jasmine palette, which I was wanting so bad. And I finally got it, and it's, it's just beautiful. And I can't wait to, like, dig in. My favorite eyeliners from Sephora, they are the Hello Kitty Charming Charmy Coal Eye Kit. My favorite one is this blue one. I've gone through one whole blue eyeliner and it's in the shade blueberry I got it off of eBay just this one pencil because I wanted it so bad but I saw that they still had this and I know these eyeliners are super creamy so I wanted the actual like all of them I also wanted the Urban Decay concealer in Dina because I already have it and I'm running low and so I decided I wanted another one and she was like sure she's freaking awesome if you're watching this Jill I love you so much. And her. Me too, I love you too. <laughs> Tammy loves you too. And her son is also fighting cancer, so. Sup to you, Kellen. I'm wearing camo. Whoa! He likes camo, I think. So. Camo for Kellen. Hashtag. She also got me the Makeup Forever Technicolor palette. Oh, I was so excited for this. It, it just has a bunch of beautiful colors in it. I'm not gonna show you. So. She got me the Makeup Forever Professional Smoky Lash. I'm so excited to try this, but my eyelashes just fell out. So that's why I'm I'm pretty naked right now. So, you see that? But, I'm one of my new favorite brands. They are flopping awesome. She got me this eyeshadow, and it's in Victim. It's in Ange, Anja. It's like a really pretty sky blue, and as well as this like purplish color. It's in Can Can. Last thing she got me is literally like the most beautiful thing you will ever see. It is a lipstick. Look how just like I can't. It is this beautiful, beautiful dark purple color that I just can't get enough of and I want more. Thought you didn't like purple. Look how pretty that is. I don't like purple, but I like purple lipstick and eyeshadow. It doesn't look as good as it would, but because I have stuff underneath. I have like a nude underneath. So that was my large haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the fashion part of it. I'll probably be filming it tomorrow or the next day or the next day. Don't know when it's going to be uploaded, but I love you guys so much. And if you made it this long through the video, comment down below. Party. Well, well, uh, hello? Tech, tech, technical difficult. No.